Now our next case, we can see the growth rate's gone down and our growth rate's now below 1%. Total fertility is now below the, uh, the replacement level uh, in 2015. We look at the crude birth rate and compare that to the crude death rate. We can see the crude birth, uh, crude birth rate has fallen uh, and it's not yet to the same level as the death rate. So it's not like it's seven and seven or 10 and 10. Uh, we still see 14 versus seven in terms of crude birth rate versus crude death rate. So what that means is we're starting to see a population that looks like it's a quintessential good example of a stage three country. Birth rates still higher than death rates, but they're starting to become closer together, starting to become almost the same. Further, the fertility rate and the growth rate also speaks to a stage three country. The population is starting to slow down. It's not growing as fast as it used to be. Uh, we go down the bottom, look at net migration, negative zero uh, throughout all the various years. What that means is uh, there could be a lot of people coming, there could be a lot of people going, but there's not much change in terms of migration. Uh, so while the rates, for, while the number of migrants might be different, might be uh, vary, uh, this is a country that still isn't really attracting large numbers of people, uh, but not seeing large numbers of population fleeing their country for various reasons, which is another good example of a stage three country. Typically stage two countries, people are leaving. Typically stage four countries are where people are going to. Um, so somewhere in the middle, stage three countries, like this presents itself as a perfect example of. And we see definitely that's the case. Uh, so in the Brazil, we can see how it's kind of had this so 20 to 30 year slow stability, slow transition to being a stage three country. And you could almost argue based on the bottom that this is now becoming a stage four country. And so you can see Brazil, how it's transitioned how up until 30 to 34 year old age group, it was a stage two country. And then we can see from about the 10 to 30 year olds in 2015 is where the stability occurs. And so the last, uh, we can go back to, you know, from anywhere from the late 80s, 90s to the early 2000s, the stability occurred. And now you're seeing the inward base at the bottom of the pyramid. And so what's going on here, gender equality, increasing urbanization levels, uh, women having fewer children. And so all of this speaks to a country that's transitioning from stage three to stage four as we speak.